What's up, Shoreline? It's Austin Mankin here, continuing our series entitled High School Heroes. We're exploring lessons from high schoolers with heroic faith in the Bible. But before we begin, I want you guys to think back to a time when you had to stand for something, stand for something that you truly believed in. For me, this came in the form of Crocs. Now stay with me. I truly believe Crocs are stylish and they're engineered uh, to perfection. They feel good, they're comfortable, but I know a lot of people give me uh, hate for these things, but I've had to stand for my convictions because I truly believe Crocs have changed my life. And so I know that's a silly illustration, but but, uh, I wanna talk about a guy who had to stand for something even greater, a guy named Daniel in the Bible, where he had to stand for his convictions and stand for what he believed in. So we're gonna be talking about his story. And Daniel, uh, to to set us up where we're going, is a guy who was uh, young, but he was intelligent. He was bright. He was the guy uh, making varsity as a freshman. He had the letter jacket with all the patches on, but he was 15 years old when he was called into leadership. Like he is just getting his driver's permit. So he is young in his faith, but God still uses him. It's so going to be in Daniel chapter one. So if you're with me, you can turn to Daniel chapter one. And so in this verse, we're going to see how Daniel's offered this food from King Nebuchadnezzar because he's trying to help make him compromise and follow this culture instead of follow God. And if he eats this food, if he consumes this food, he's basically breaking his Israelite vow. And so he knows he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to dishonor God. And so in verse eight, we learn about Uh, Daniel's conviction. And here's what the foundational verse that's going to set up where we're going and set up the trajectory of Daniel's life for future success and future obedience in God's kingdom. It's right here. Daniel chapter one, verse eight. It says, but Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile himself with the king's choice uh, food or with the wine which he drank. And so he made up his mind, meaning he drew a line in the sand. I love some translations that actually say, man, he purposed in his heart, that he resolved, that he said, I know what I believe and I'm going to make a conviction. And convictions for us are so important. Biblical convictions are the backbone of our faith, that they keep us from wavering or swaying or going along with the culture or trying to just fit in to to be liked. They keep us on a path of obedience. And that's why convictions are so important to have. I love this definition of what convictions are. It says, a conviction is a belief that is considered true and worthy of maintaining regardless of the consequences, regardless of the consequences. And so, man, that was what uh, Daniel had to face in this moment, that he chose to reject this small food that others would say, hey, it's fine. You can simply make this small compromise. But he chose to reject it knowing because he wanted to honor the Lord. But it came with consequences. I mean, he could have been executed. He could have been expelled uh, from the school that he was in. I mean, he could have been hurt or wounded by other people because of this, but he chose his convictions over culture. And here's what we're going to see what happened to Daniel because it's amazing. The first point I want you to understand that we can learn from Daniel's life is that he was firm in his convictions. So I want you guys to be firm in your convictions. And so the Babylonians, man, they tried to change his culture. They tried to change what he, what he wore, his language, his religion. But the one thing that could, they could not change about Daniel is his heart, man, because he remained steadfast in his faith. He trusted God, because if you are firm in what you believe, you will not waver in the moment of temptation. And that's what he believed. And he faced really two challenges that I want to highlight in Daniel 1. Two challenges that we really face on a day-to-day basis where we can either compromise on our convictions or follow the Lord. And so he chose uh, obedience. We, the one, one temptation we see in this first chapter is that he was tempted by popularity popularity, something we all face today. But when he chose to reject this, man, he chose uh, um, obedience. And he could have he could have really just kept his head down. He could have just remained quiet. He could have honestly just went along with the crowd, but he chose obedience over popularity. He decided, hey, I'm not just going to try to fit in, but I know there's a greater reward waiting for me. 
and he chose obedience. He chose obedience. He also was tempted with pleasure. So he had all this food around him. Man, he could have easily given in. Man, how many times are we tempted by pleasure to compromise? It could have been the entertainment we watch. It could be the language we speak. It could be the, the friends that we're around. We could be easily tempted to compromise. And it could be small or it could be large, but Daniel knew where he stood. And so my encouragement to you guys is to build your boundaries early, to build your boundaries early. You have to make a decision like Daniel made ahead of time to know what you stand for so you won't fall. That he had his convictions and he made a decision in present moments of strength that set him up well in future moments of, uh, of weakness. And so uh, convictions help us endure temptation. So be firm in your convictions because that's what we can learn from Daniel. The next thing we can learn from Daniel as we're moving forward is to follow God's lead. We're gonna learn throughout this chapter and throughout the entire book of Daniel, how God supports people who stand for him. That God supported Daniel because he stood for God. God supported him. And so in verse nine, we see, When Daniel followed God's lead, here's what happens. It says, And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs. God gave Daniel. That's amazing. This is God giving him favor. Like Daniel didn't have to go search for it. He didn't have to go earn it. He didn't have to go win the approval of other people. He just trusted God because he knew favor is found from God. And he didn't have to go earn it. God gave it to him graciously. And look what happened. An enemy that would have, uh, should have hurt Daniel or should have create, cut ties with Daniel actually shows compassion on Daniel because that's, the, that's what God we serve. Proverbs 21, one says, the king's heart, uh, uh, the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. So Daniel willingly put his faith in God and had confidence in him and trusted him for his approval. And I love how the, the king, this, this guy that should um, you know, be an enemy of him shows compassion on him because he trusted God. The next verse I want you to look at is Daniel 1, 17. It says that to these four young men talking about um, Daniel's friends, God gave, he's giving again, knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. Man, I love that because when he took a stand, you see how Daniel, when he took a stand, he embraced the wisdom that God had for him. And when you take a stand, you're really taking advantage of the opportunity that God has for you, that God has for you. And so taking a stand right now might be that you're just taking a stand to trust God in any scenario. It might mean that you're taking a stand in your friend group to say, hey, man, they're making poor choices and then I'm not gonna agree with that or I'm gonna, in a gentle way, in a humble way, uh, maybe choose to go a different direction. Taking a stand can look a lot of different ways, but I would challenge you, encourage you to come up with, decide right now with what your convictions are and where you're going to stand. Because this is my heroic principle that I want you guys to encourage you to think about is that God supports those who stand for him that God supports those who stand for him. As you keep reading in the book of Daniel, you're gonna see how God continues to give him leadership, continues to give him influence, continues to give him um, just favor in the way that he goes because he chose his convictions early. And so that's our encouragement to you is that you guys would know what you believe and know why you believe it and that you choose for your convictions and you don't follow culture. We love you guys. Thanks for listening. Have a great week of worship.